Hi guys, welcome to the first of three videos actually this weekend. So I filmed enough for kind of an hour's worth of footage and then I felt like it was a little bit too much in the one video. So I put the pastels one in its own video and then the Roman Schmoles palette as well. So there will be two more videos coming tomorrow and you can save one for next week. So I'm only posting every two weeks at the minute. Um, and you can, yeah, so you'll have three there to choose from. You can save some or whatever, but, um, in this video, we're going to look at a little, a couple of different storage options for pastels. So we'll just jump straight into it and then I'll kind of explain things as we go along. So I found this, uh, box. This is a, an artist pochard box. It's to go on an easel. So, and I think it said like watercolor, um, yeah for like a watercolor easel I'm not really sure but it was um the Julian Rexy I believe from Paris it's a really beautiful little box so you can see it's quite um it's probably like five by twelve inches or something like that um it comes with this palette inside it and then there's like this whole little drawer underneath so yeah it's just um I was actually looking for looking around for different pochard boxes and you can see here that I have this Schmincke pastel box and I showed this in the you can see like the size difference but I showed the the Schmincke pastel box in my last um, watercolor palettes one and I actually have watercolors in here and when I was doing that video like editing that video I was thinking hmm, maybe I should be putting my pastels in a pastel box because I have like a bunch of little so you can see like the one has the watercolor and then the one has the pastels but um, I really love this pastel box for watercolors and I explain more about that in that video uh, but yeah I was looking at different boxes and I was thinking about maybe that uh, Schmincke one and then uh, I kept coming across the Heilman single sketch box on YouTube but it was the better part of $200 and I didn't you know know if I really needed to spend that on a pastel box so I found this one it was like $20 from Jerry's and then plus shipping um, and it's just really beautiful you can see like that um, brass part comes back and then you can attach that onto an easel but um, I'm just showing you here as well the watercolor it's quite deep the box so it's quite I don't think it would really work for watercolors and then that front part where you could um, store brushes it's actually quite deep and a little bit hard to get to as well but here are my like little stack of pastel boxes so they're all in different places and this one here this Whole Foods box this is the first kind of artist supplies box that I collected maybe almost a decade ago so really really love um, this box and then this was the second one so this is like in an old chocolate box and you can see like I've kind of got the warms and then the cools uh, and at that time I was not collecting watercolors I would just pick up a couple of pastels every time we were at the art shop we were usually there to get stuff for my sister so I would just kind of add in a few um, pastels and I really loved it I wasn't using them I just loved having them and they were really inspiring so I think in 2020 I got these Sennelier pastels, two boxes, the kind of colors and then the neutrals. And I do have several videos from that time like showing these pastels, swatching them. These are the creme de la creme of pastels, the La Maison du Pastel. So these are the Henry Roche ones or Henri Rocher and they are from Paris and they're just so beautiful but I, I have videos about all of those so I'm not going to swatch them today I'm just kind of showing you how I'm storing them so I got these kind of face wipes the cotton you know face wipes and then I've just laid those in the bottom to kind of collect the dust and to give a little bit of padding for the pastels and then I just started laying them in I so I wasn't actually sure when I started this how many would fit so I just kind of started laying them in there like I do my palettes. So I put the uh, darks up in the top right and then kind of the pinks and reds down in the bottom. Also, sorry, the darks in the top left and the pinks in the bottom right and kind of started laying that out. And 
Um, what I found was I could fit the um, La Maison du Pastel box. It's the 12, um, the Naturals box, which I absolutely love. And then a bunch of the Sennelier ones. So I broke those in half. They were full sticks and then I broke them. And then I could just make a really, really beautiful kind of spectrum in there and a palette. So I do this sort of close up here so that you can see um, the numbers if you're interested but I do have like a whole video swatching these out and you can see those more clearly but yeah so these are I really really love and I think they're a little bit different the Sennelier ones and the Henri Roche ones so I really love both of them um, the um, the La Maison ones they're very like gritty which I really love it feels like feels really I don't know I really love them and then the Snillier ones are a little bit softer and um, yeah they do break a little bit when you kind of break them but yeah I really love them so um, yes I have those there and I can pull those out is my main thing like um, I'm trying to put together some classes some courses which I've been working on for a little while but I need these kind of things a bit more accessible like I've got just a bunch of different um, things so I've really enjoyed trying to figure out these storage solutions and so the second thing that I have to show you is this bento box so this is a stainless steel like a basically a lunch box you can put different types of foods in um, and then you can just chuck it in the you know dishwasher or um, you know, it's just a very nice like reusable lunchbox. So So you can see like that's the aftermath there of the first box and and there were a few of these ones left And I just didn't want to leave them like that. So I ended up putting them in the top of um, This bento box and I find this I've actually already pulled this out a few times and I've just been really enjoying having them more accessible like this so I have the Snellier oil pastels in the bottom and then I have these kind of leftover pastels I've made kind of this really nice portrait palette but um, I just use it more like florals and I don't know architecture buildings and things like that so I really love this so you can see that I uh, first of all I had the Neo Color 2s in here so um, yeah none of these supplies are new just the storage systems are new so I really enjoyed that it kind of brings a freshness to uh, the supplies as well and being able to use them in a different way so um, yeah but you could see like that neo color twos or you know or ones you know they fit in here and then the oil pastels fit in here but I just thought I wanted to share this because you might have other different materials that you want to use and also um, you know to be able to take them places this will you know keep them really sturdy and I think I'll, like I'll put some padding in there as well but yeah I think it's just a very exciting kind of a way I always love um, finding storage supplies in the kitchen section I just think they really always have something some way to store um, art supplies so anyway so I just kind of take a little bit of cotton paper here and I'm just showing you just a quick um, kind of sketch with the pastel so I'm using uh, one of my printables as a like an inspiration as a starting point and so we're just kind of going over it here and you can see like I have a whole couple of videos about these emblems and but you can see that I go from top to bottom and then I do each side at simultaneously so I'll work on the left and then the right and then continue down the emblem um, and yeah this is not you know a pastel paper per se but I just wanted to try them on here and uh, see how they went and just to kind of also give you a little bit of an idea of um, the types of things or ways I'll be, you know, using the pastels. So I'll just let you, you know, watch this, but I'll give you a couple of um, like announcements. Um, the shop update is going to be tomorrow at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. So I wasn't, I've got a few projects coming up and I was, wasn't going to do any more 
um, shop updates until you know maybe September October but I have had quite a few requests so I'm just doing a couple of mini palettes they are coming along really just really beautifully they're, they're really stunning so I am really happy with them um, and I will try and put enough in the shop so that uh, you know if you want one they, you can get one I think the last three I've had three shop updates this year and they have pretty much sold out immediately but um, so we'll see hopefully there's enough for everyone um, and then yeah I'm tr gonna try and do and so we'll be painting this in the next and kind of working with a limited palette in the next video tomorrow as well so we are talking about palette building this year this video I hope this weekend and sort of how to choose colors how to create different color palettes and I'm really excited um, I think all of the videos have come out really nicely the palettes and the paintings and um, yes yeah, so I hope you guys like them and yes have a lovely weekend and i will see you guys tomorrow bye